I have never seen an individual. I have never seen an individual. I have never seen an individual who is able to sniff cocaine while eating dinner and continue to eat dinner. Like the blood clot Michael Jordan, or Marcus Jordan, not Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan's his dad, Marcus Jordan, the son of legendary basketball player Michael Jordan, out somewhere in the heart, in the heart of France, on his dinner table, taking some fat bumps while he's eating some casserole, some pasta, some whatever, some watermelon with his friends chilling having a good old time. I can't think of a scenario or an occasion where I've ever, ever, ever had an appetite after doing any amount of class A drugs. It never happens. It's impossible. So it's pretty impressive to see this happening. But maybe it's because of the money he has. Maybe because he's a Nepo baby, because he's a wealthy guy, because he has a trust fund, maybe he has access to class A's that I don't have access to, or that us regular people don't have access to. The kind of class A's that, you know, maybe just taste like mangoes. Cause look at his face after he takes a bump. I don't think I don't think my face has ever looked that jubilant that has ever looked that jubilant, has ever looked that happy, has ever looked that content, has ever looked that blissful when I've ever taken a bump. Ever in my life. But he might have this special grade of gear that you only get when you're rich that actually has a sweet aroma a sweet aftertaste because he looks like he's absolutely having a blast he's loving life he's having the greatest time ever texting some baddies to come down and meet him wherever he's had to hang out and i absolutely love to see it i really fucking do and there's also it's almost kind of refreshing too because for the longest time a lot of these like nepo babies right a lot of these guys it almost felt like they were being forced to try and replicate or meet the standards of their fathers or their parents in general. And I think sometimes the best thing you can do as a Nepo baby is just enjoy the wealth. Enjoy the enjoy the enjoy whatever your parents have built for you or what they built for during their career and just make the most out of it. Enjoy yourself. Fuck around. Do whatever needs to be done. But there's no point of trying to prove yourself and try to surpass whatever your parents did because more than likely, you're not. Because they were the outliers. They were like the one in the millions. There's not really a lot of Nepo babies out there that are actually really killing it. Or especially not to a level of what their parents did. So what you should do really, to really honour the gift, to really honour the luck, the privilege, whatever that you have, is just to enjoy yourself and have a fucking good time. I don't want to see Marcus Jordan out here talking about societal issues or marching for Black Lives Matter or talking about global warming, right? And all this sort of nonsense or advocating against police brutality. It's like, no, you're rich, you're wealthy. These stuff don't affect you and you don't actually care. I would rather see you doing fat bumps in the middle of South, in the middle of France, right? In, or in the South of France with your best friends surrounded by plates of fucking watermelon and half-eaten pasta. That's what I'd rather see. That's way more goals than seeing you fucking open or fund an NGO. No, thank you. Because I don't believe you with the NGO. I'm sure it's a tax write-off. I'm sure it's a money laundering scheme. I don't believe you. I'd rather see you take fat bumps and have a good time. I would rather see you take fat bumps and have a good time. And talking about taking fat bumps to have a good time, did you guys see this clip? of Charlie XCX during her boyfriend's boiler room set. Not what, during, no, not her boyfriend's, her boiler room set. Her boyfriend was playing with some other DJs too. I think maybe even AG Cook. And this is to me, like, very uncultured because <laughs> I don't understand why you would do this right in front of the cameras. So well, someone's playing, you see Charlie XCX and the fiance here behind the booth. And it looks like the fiance passes Charlie XDX a straw and then she bends down under the, t under the DJ booth and takes a fat line and comes back up again. Let's play the video. So the Missandoff, she gets a straw, she bends down under the table, she disappears, she takes the bump. The, look at the girl behind her. The girl behind her looks a bit awkward. She takes her hand and puts the straw back to the, the, the partner's hand. Now, some people are suggesting that might not be a straw. Some people are suggesting it's a cigarette. Which is odd because why would you want to smoke a cigarette under the booth? Why don't you just smoke it behind the bar? It's not that big of a deal. But some people are suggesting it might be a joint. 
Still, I don't understand why you smoke it under the table. Maybe she's what It just doesn't make any sense. So more than likely, that is a straw. That is a straw that she needed to take to use to inhale some sort of powdery substance under the table of the DJ booth that she was playing at, which is okay. It's part of her brand. It is what it is. I just think there has to come a point, you know, in your raving life, in your outdoors life, where you start to become a little bit more classy in your fucking consumption of drugs. And sometimes doing it on a dance floor, doing it right in front of people, as edgy and as cool as it may look, is a little bit classless, lacks a bit of tact. Maybe go in private somewhere else and do it in a toilet cubicle, hang out, have a good time, and ingest it that way instead of doing it in front of people. So, like, you know, slow down with that stuff. Slow down with doing it in front of people. I would personally say that's what I would personally say. But again, 